Welcome to the Halloween special, where, as usual, I have something from the trash. Now, I don't know what model of Thermaltake this, uh, this is, what model case this is, but foot fell off. I need to glue it back on because it's missing the clip from the center of it. And I don't have any glue, or rather, I can't find my glue. So before we even begin this video, I have to take a drive. And uh, there's a football game today, so this is going to be fun. Well, I'm back from the store. The, uh... Super glue I got will not stop coming out of the tube. So that's great. <laughs> this will work just fine. Oh, wow. Just shot out of there for no reason. This is supposed to be gel, not liquid. What the hell caused that? Okay, let's try again. Now, the stuff coming out now is just straight liquid. This is supposed to be a gel. Okay, that's weird. Um, anyway. I suppose we should be good to go now. Hold that there for a little bit. And then we can move on with the spooky build. All right, all right, I can hear you asking, what makes this a spooky build? Well, I'll show you. If I can uncover it. We're building a normal PC out of used mining gear that I have not tested and I overpaid for. This is a pretty bare bones motherboard, Intel based. I mean, if this wasn't a mining board, it would go for like 35, 40 bucks. But I paid double that. This is an RX 480 that has been mined on. The guy admitted it to me. Apparently it was mined on for like four years straight. Great. Uh, supposedly he's flashed the original BIOS back to it. I'll see, I'll uh, believe that when I see it. And the, the guy that sold me this, mega aggressive. I, I hate crypto bros. Um, I tried to get a mining power supply, but they just, every time I bid on one, it would end up going for like 150, 200 bucks. And I'm just like, that's, too much for a sketchy Chinese, you know, bit muncher power supply or whatever the hell it is for a rebrand. So I went and I got scammed on a Corsair CX650 instead. Um, it was supposed to come with a SATA, well, accessory cable, but it did not. It just came with two Molex, but that's okay got this that I found somewhere, I don't remember where it's from, but it's a single 4-pin to 4 SATA connectors, so that'll at least let us power this uh, silicon power 256 gig SSD that's been bouncing around in my toolbox for like 5 years. Um, to round it out, I bought this. It's an i7-6700. <sighs> That's... It's just a normal CPU, but... I think that this comes with some sort of Celeron, and I'll be honest, there's no way we could make that work in a usable, modern PC. So I picked up the i7 just to actually be able to use the PC. And then there's this... Odd... Uh, Chinese no-name... Shunda tower cooler, which did not come with the mounting, 
So I found this, which I don't know where I got this, but it's also from one of those no-name Chinese mounting things. And it says it's a 500-piece laptop notebook computer screw set for IBM, HP, Dell, Lenovo, Samsung, Sony, Toshiba, Gateway, Acer, New. But it's a hold down for one of these. So that's, that's that. I've also got two, count them, 500 gigabyte hard drives that I pulled out of the trash. Uh, this one still has some sort of sled attached. Oh, wow. Some sort of sled attached to it. Not sure what that's from. If you recognize this sled, let me know in the comments. Don't know what to do with it. And this one just says 2013 on it, so it's brand new, you know. And while that is drying, let's go ahead and assemble this motherboard. First, I suppose, let's test if it works. I've got some uh, DDR3. I don't know if this is DDR4 or not. My, I'm pretty sure it's DDR3. My old video editing PC had an i5-6500, and that one was DDR3. So I'm really hoping that this this has fingerprints on the bottom. <laughs> okay. Well, it is a, it is indeed a i7-6700 with some sort of real deep nick in the IHS. Let's set that aside. Um, I have not tested any of this. I don't know if any of this works. But uh, we're going to find out. Okay, so it does have... Oh, it has RAM. Okay. Has the I.O. shield in here. Ooh, some free SATA cables. That's nice. I need those. <sighs> and here we have it. If I can get this back in. Fuck it. I don't care anymore. The only reason I bought this is because it's standard ATX. I thought it was micro ATX. Hmm. That poses a problem. I thought this was micro ATX. Uh, we can't use this now. One moment. Man, the picture on Facebook Marketplace only showed the box open like this. It didn't realize it extended under here. That's my fault. Okay, I was hoping to not have to do this. But I do have this. Uh, I don't know where the side panels are. But uh, this was my personal um, yeah that's not going to stay in there is it this was my personal tower a while back I loved this PC it was great get in there I'm trying to get the optical bay, uh, bay blank back in this is filthy it's been bouncing around my apartment for like a decade I never really did much with it. Um, so you know what this means, right? Cleaning.
that's in there forever now. Keep ending up with giant computer cases. Where's my cleaning supplies? Here we go. A lot of this dust did not want to come off. <coughs> Ugh. This stuff never ceases to stink. Ugh. Never sure let it get this bad, but at the same time I wasn't using it. It was just kind of sitting there next to my fridge. So why would I clean something that I wasn't using or didn't need, you know? So I'm just gonna give it a the five and a quarter inch bay blank on this is so awful. It just falls into the case with no effort. Also, I lost the, the nozzle for my uh, canned air inside this machine. It's living there for eternity now. I can't get it out. The front, um, this thing, the, god damn it filter is supposed to come out. In fact, the top one's supposed to also come out. You just push on it and it's supposed to click and then pop up. But it's not. So, get what do I do? Not much I can do. Okay, well, at least now I can touch the case without feeling filthy. Man, this thing got really dirty. I'm going to spin this around. I used this as a server case for a while. really wish I could clean that, but again, it just... I can't get it off. <coughs> Ugh. Stinks. Yep. That is mega clogged, but again, can't get that to come out. So, what do I do? I can hear it click. Maybe, maybe it just needs a little, no, that's not working. What the hell is going on here? I'd really like that off. It's just, it's completely clogged. Um, I got, I got an idea. Let's just take the old front panel off. Oh, hey, I got the, I got the nozzle back. That's nice. Yeah, this is supposed to, oh, there we go. Well, that doesn't help at all. Why would there be a screw in the back if there's little clicky doodads there? Well, now I can get this cleaned. Look at how just filthy that is. I don't know why the dust is all on this side. It should be, in theory, on the front, but let me get this taken care of. 
Well, it looks better. Still not perfect, but... Yeah, we're gonna try and get this all cleaned up. Somebody must have spilled something on this at one point. Pretty sure that happened before I owned it. Man, it's just gross. I bought this used from some guy in Craigslist back in like... Oh god, this must have been 2016, so not quite 10 years ago, but pretty close. Blew it out as best as I could. Um, you know what? My wife doesn't watch my videos. Thus does not want to leave. Jesus. Okay. this just so unbelievably filthy wow how's the underside of this yeah could be worse could be better <laughs> I don't like how there's a lip under here that lets the air completely bypass the uh, filter in there. Why is this not clipping? It's supposed to clip. It's directional. Why is it directional? That's stupid. <sighs> anyway, um, with the screw taken out, now we can do the uh, easy removal. Why wouldn't? That's just such a weird decision, but you know what? This is a weird build, so that's okay. <clears throat> Let's see if the motherboard works, first of all. <coughs> now I need, I don't even care about a cooler. I just need it to turn on for a few seconds. Um, but I need VGA. This is new enough where it requires PCI Express. Uh, here we go. I think it's like an X300. Something like that. It's fine. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. Um, okay. VGA is in. I don't care about this. Celeron G3930. It's going to complain about not having a ABC. Maybe if I just plug in A. <clears throat> it's going to complain about not having a CPU fan, but it should at least post. God, I hope this works. I spent too much money for this to be a dead one board. Of course, I don't have a fan, so is this even on? It's not. Here, I'll, I'll do this. Get your ASMR peel there. Where is the CPU fan? There it is. Get on there. Okay. That's 
just to make it happy and to show me that it at least functions. So that's on, that's on. Where'd that screwdriver go? <clears throat> Where is the front panel? Power LED. Why does it have two power LEDs listed? Well, here's power switch. That's good, I think. Nothing on that yet. Okay. <coughs> there is an option. Yeah, that didn't even get warm. Uh, there is an option. Sometimes these motherboards, well, sometimes motherboard in general, will default to onboard graphics and they will, especially with mining boards, lock out the offboard graphics. So I might need to grab something with HDMI as an input. How big is this stick of RAM anyway? 2400 megahertz? Surely this isn't DDR4. There's no way. It is. Ah. Oh. I'll be right back. Okay, before I truck this whole thing out into my living room and use my main TV, uh, I've got the stupidest setup ever where I have my Wacom here. Um, <coughs> there we go. <coughs> Goodness. <coughs> um, I think that I'm going to have to... No, this will do for now still. Um, so, okay, the CPU fan was over here. I was looking at the wrong one anyway. So we'll just set that there. Um, get this memory back in. Sucks that it's DDR4. I have no other DDR4 that I can spare. I've got this, but I'm pretty sure this stick is bad. This is the RAM I was originally going to use. I am little surprised that this uses DDR4. Again, my other one uses DDR3, my other 6th uh, gen board. Why is this board like bent in a U shape? Well, we're gonna hope. Just kind of see what happens, I guess. Keyboard. I eventually need to plug in the CPU 8 pin, the APS power connector. Get in there. Okay, uh, EPS 12 volt is. No, that's PCIe. Here we go. Oh, what a pain in the butt. Okay. There, okay.
I don't like that. We're gonna let it cook, I guess. Oh, something on the key. Hey! I didn't even need to fucking wake up. Okay, maybe I just needed to let it sit for a while longer. Hello? Okay, that's 8 gigs of RAM. Single channel's not great, but I'll take it. Okay, please enter BIOS to recover. Okay. Um, I feel comfortable enough to continue now that I know that it functions. So, let's get this Wacom the hell out of here. Don't need this. I do want to keep this kind of set up as it is for a moment, just so I can see if the board still posts with the i7. It would be a massive shame if it didn't. i7 installed. Why did I unplug the CPU fan? I could just set it off to the side, but let's see. If, uh, I don't like how this is bending so much, but let's go ahead and see what happens. <clears throat> now it did complain about the graphics card not being, okay, we're gonna call that good enough. <coughs> I don't need any more proof. At this point, see that one will actually heat up. Let's go ahead, get the CPU cooler properly installed, and then we can start putting things in that case. It's all display port. We'll figure that out later. I don't like that. Anyway, uh, i7's there. Where's my... There we go. Protronics. No, I don't want the paste yet. I want the... This thing that's on the floor now. We've all seen these. This thing. So I want it oriented like this, I believe. Hey, it fits. That's not always guaranteed. So I want this in. These are always a pain in the ass to deal with. But I am starting to feel a little bit better about this build. Maybe it won't be uh, a complete disaster. <clears throat> now the only thing I'm worried about is the board, uh, the CPU VRM. So they never expect you to actually like, oh that might not work, well that barely works. It touches the RAM. <laughs> That's great. But no, what, what I was getting at is they don't expect you to use an i7 in one of these machines. They expect you to do what they did, throw a low power seller on, and just load it full of graphics cards. So the CPU VRM, although the i7 was listed on the support page, it's not really designed to handle this CPU. It's only able to handle it Theoretically. So, we need to keep that in mind. 
Um, now we can put the goop on. It's a good little squirt there, pea size. This clipped in place. Yeah. And there. Good enough. It's mounted. So we know the i7 works. Um, let's get it in a case before I test that card. If that card doesn't work, I have other cards we can use. We could put something stupid in it, like a uh, GTX 580 or something. Um, yeah, this cellar uh, can go straight in the trash. I'll be right back. Okay, got that mostly cleaned up. Get the case up here. I still need to find the side panels for this. You need to come over here. So you can see what's going on. Didn't you know that? Okay, let me get this IO shield out of here. <clears throat> Pretty bare bones, if I do say so myself. Does that even fit? Ah, what the hell is going on here? Wow, that does not. Get in there, my god. I wonder what this is for. I don't remember. So, what is not gonna line up here? Those two. Ah. Get out of here. I had a super micro server motherboard in this case last time. So the standoffs are going to be wrong. I just need to get this in here so I can verify what needs to be changed. Okay. That I can do. <clears throat> ah, shoot. I'm going to need some pliers. Okay, I found a small set of pliers. <laughs> small enough, at least. Okay, I think that's really all I needed to do. These ones are barely more than finger tight, but you really don't need much with these systems. Just kind of giving the motherboard a once over to make sure everything looks good. Yeah, I think we're okay. Yes. I would like for this to extend like a quarter inch past so I can start screwing those in, but... Nope. That ain't it, Chief, I guess. Wow, this is just... The most stubborn I.O. plate I have ever seen. Okay. <clears throat> now I need one of my many screwdrivers, which are all over there. So, this is a more modern uh, computer case. So most of the standoffs are highly likely, not guaranteed, but likely. I was wrong. Jesus Christ. Was I wrong? Or did I just not have it lined up correct? They're likely to be, uh, I can't think of it right now, but the fine thread, Jesus. 
<clears throat> Did not get a lot of sleep last night. That one's not fine thread. This case has been built in a thousand times. That one's fine thread. Wow, we're just doing guesswork over here, my goodness. This one's highly likely to be fine thread. If I can get the screw to stay on the other screwdriver, that is. Okay. <clears throat> now, is that one, the bottom of the case, fine thread? No. <laughs> wow. Okay. I guess we've got three fine thread, three coarse thread. That's a travesty, but you know what? That's fine. Whatever works. One more. Okay. <coughs> That's reasonably good enough for the case. <sighs> do I do power supply next? I think I do. But I'm going to move this. Which means I'm going to move you guys too. power supply. Now before I do that, let's get some of this stuff connected to kind of wrangle it out of the way. USB 3. Where did I see that? There it is. Connected. Uh, this is, say, this must be Oh, I just left to say the cable in here. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Uh, HD audio. Does this board... it? Does this board even have audio? It does. Okay. And that goes there. AAFP. I can only assume that it's the audio connector because it fits. USB 2. And front panel. Ooh, I am sorry for kicking the uh, camera stand there. Power switch, that's the one I really care about. Power switch, uh, hard drive LED. That's gonna be this one here. And a positive and negative or silk screen on the board, which is really nice. That never happens. Power LED. Now there are two headers listed as power LED, but I'm going to go with the one that I think is correct. Then I need to connect the reset switch. And we should be good to go to get the power supply connected in now. <coughs> I am a little surprised that this PC never had a basement, as I think they're called. But at the same time, I guess not that surprised. It's a modern-ish case, but not that modern. So let's get some coarse screws for the power supply. Just so you can see. Not that it's terribly interesting, I mean, it's, it's a power supply, what do, you, what do you want me to do? Not exactly riveting 
uh, storyline here. And then we see the dumpster diver inserting screws into the power supply, attempting to secure it in place. Unfortunately for him, he has not lined it up correctly, and the last screw cannot be inserted. Try to loosen these. I can slide the power supply up a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> We're just about. Wow, I didn't clean the power supply filter. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Man, cable management is going to be a pain. Let's get the graphics card in. Okay. Do I have any thumb screws I can use? This one. There is that one I took off the filter as well. Use that. Let's have to figure out where I put it. Oh, I think I see it. Oh, it looks like a weirder one, though. Good enough. Uh, no, that actually won't work. Shoot. Okay, one screw's good enough. Um, <clears throat> here is the... Oh, that's right, there's more USB. Okay. Um, but there isn't more USB 2 ports on this board. Shoot. Heh. <laughs> Never thought I'd run out of USB 2. Okay, um, <coughs> this can go and just get tucked underneath then. It's uh, where it'll never be seen again. Okay, so at this point, I really should be standing the board up. Or sorry, the, the tower up so I can start cable managing, but damn. What do I do next? Yeah, I guess we'll do that. So let's get the spare USB cable out of there. Pop these through. Fan power. PCIe power. Motherboard power, CPU power. We'll go from top down, CPU power first. We'll go right here. Um, can get this SATA cable out of there just to make it easier for the moment. Motherboard power. We want the top one, which is right next to this one. And I'll go ahead and plug that in. I know you can't see me plugging them in, but I assure you, I'm, I'm plugging it in. That's, that's all that's happening. Graphics card. Uh, the closest one is this one. Plugged in. Wow, that is a really loose plug. Mining cards, everybody. Mining cards. Which leaves a couple of things. Um, we've got two Molex. Each of them has, well this one's got four, this one's got three. So let's put the fan. This is for the uh, front panel fans, I believe. This controller here. And... Hmm. Try this out. Found this in a dumpster PC, and uh, for years I've been waiting for a chance to use it. This is literally what it was designed for. So, for the moment, 
we are only going to connect our um, SATA SSD. How am I? What? Does this not have? I guess I'll have to use this. Um, it doesn't have provisions for an SSD on the top like most of the other ones do. Okay. So, I guess we're just gonna tip it down for the moment and I'll... Wow, that's pretty bent too. It's sitting in there awkwardly for years. Hmm. No, it's got no provisions for an SSD. What the hell? Um, that's just unusual. Usually you get the option to put one like up here. And it will fit there. Is that really how they want you to do that? There's no way. There, no, no, it's got... They want you to do this. That's exactly what they want you to do. <coughs> and since I have to use the tray for the SSD, at least to mount it properly, which, you know, we don't really have to do, but I'm going to do. I guess the hard drive's going up there. First, get this SSD over with. Whoopsies. One. Can you see that? No, you can't. There we go. Two. Can't believe I gave money to miners. GPU miners, not the other kind of miner. It's okay, I hate both. When you live in a college town, you learn that uh, everyone sucks. Whoopsies. So that will go here. That is barely shaped enough to hold in place. Jesus Christ. So let's get the. Hmm. You know what? I'll take this. Uh, SATA cable that we found in here and reuse that. Tuck that through. Plug it into the hard drive. Oh, that's right, I need to screw in the hard drive. One. Two. Um, well, I know that we just tucked this through, but we're literally just kind of taking up slack because it's going to go right back around. And plug into the motherboard. Literally like two inches from the hard drive. But that's fine. It's fine. Um... Before I go and open some brand new ones, let me see what I've got in my box of goodies here. Try a short one from Dell. No, oh, there's no way that'll work. That's too short. Still short, but less short. I'll try this one. Oh yeah, this will work great. No, I want to save this inverted 90 for a different PC. Those are hard to find. Standard. Yeah, this will do. Tuck that through there. Get that plugged in.
And now I just need power. So we're gonna try and get this up there where it's gonna sit if I ever find the side panel for this. And this is the one that I've got this connected to. So looks like I want Oh, this is gonna suck. First, I want it to come this way, where it can connect to the hard drive, which is not what I wanted to connect to first. I wanted the tail to connect to the hard drive, but unfortunately, the orientation of the connectors does not allow me to do that. Um, now, the tail can connect to the SSD which is not exactly efficiently routed yeah. but I don't have a choice so connected both drives have power oh. whoopsies graphics card has power uh, you know what I'm gonna go have a quick look and see if I can find the side panel for this case that would be I believe the scientific term is super mega awesome. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna do that. And I will be back in just a moment. Uh, I have not been able to find that one yet, but I found the other side. Ooh! about that right now. I think this is the right side panel. Okay. Um, I have a couple of new thumb screws I can use. If I can get them out of the box there. Yeah. One, and we can just pretend there's a panel on the back. I will find it, I do still have it, I just don't know where it is. So, get this box out of here. Get this out of here. <clears throat> Shoot, the ugly side is the one that faces us. <sighs> what can I do about that? Find the other side panel. But I'm not gonna. <laughs> Let's just see if the graphics card displays out. Keyboard. I have a display port to VGA adapter. So display mouse. I think all I need now is power. So, move some of this junk out of here. And in fact, you know what? Let's move the PC. All right, here goes nothing. Ooh. What is that? Is that the graphics card? There's something on the screen, but I missed it. That is the graphics card. Ugh. Great. Okay, um, please enter setup to recover BIOS settings. What do you mean card not supported by UEFI? This is... I bet you... Actually... Yeah, that's the graphics card. 
I bet you he didn't flash the original BIOS back like he said he did. So, um, let's just see if there's a, I didn't connect the SATA to the SSD. <laughs> Shit. Oh, okay. So that graphics card needs a new fan. I'm glad that I overpaid for that. Especially for such an aggressive dick. All right, where's the cable coming through? I poked it through and where is it? That's one. Aha, there we go. Okay. Oh! Oh, the SATA cable was in the graphics card fan. That's what that sound was. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay. That's what I get for putting the side panel on. <clears throat> Once I find the other side panel, this is not going to be a bad looking PC. Or a bad PC in general. Okay, um, got two to confirm current settings. I guess F2 would not accept. Oh, it's got a mouse. Okay, um, B250 mining, i7-6700, seize that. Uh, I should really try that other stick of RAM, but I'm 99% sure that it is dead. Uh, boot priority. Does it not see the SSD? Uh, boot. Uh, It doesn't see the SSD. Oh, it does see it. Why won't it let me? What? <coughs> what? Uh... Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Peace. All right. Let's find out, I guess, what's on this SSD. Your hardware settings have changed. And so far, it looks like a pretty bog standard Windows 10 installation. Okay, well, uh, you know what? I did this. So, whenever you have a small SSD, now this one's not super small, it's 240 gigs, but whenever you have a small SSD, it helps to move your desktop, downloads, all that stuff, to a larger hard drive. So let's go ahead and we'll do properties for desktop, location, move. Select our hard drive. Now I've already got these folders created, but you can just create a folder and name it desktop. Select it, because this is just a folder. 
and then apply. Yes. Okay. Desktop is now located on the uh, hard drive, which will save space on the SSD when people start bloating it up with like, I don't know, Minecraft. Downloads is a huge one. If you don't move anything else, move downloads. Uh, location, move this PC, new volume D. Ah, I didn't make a downloads folder. Let's do new folder. Downloads, select folder, apply, yes, okay. Now the cool thing is if we go to the drive, we can see that downloads now has the correct icon. So we'll do the same thing with all the rest of these documents, properties, location, move, it's PC, new volume D, documents, we want that to be our documents folder, apply, yes, okay. Pictures, music, videos. That's all that's left. Location. Am I doing pictures? I am doing pictures. Select folder. Apply. Yes. Okay. Music. Just about done. Location. Move. Volume. Music. Select folder. Apply. Yes. Done. Okay. Videos. Last one. <coughs> Move, volume, videos, select folder, apply, yes, and we are done. So, at this point, all I need is the uh, drivers for the board, graphics card, and then we can try some games on this turd bought from old mining gear. I wouldn't recommend doing this. Um, an RX 480 should go for like 40, 50 bucks. And these people are still asking 70, 80, 100 dollars for them. It's, it's stupid. Um, the motherboard, again, we're talking like 35, 40 bucks. I paid almost double that. I paid like 65, 70 bucks, I think. Um, Power supplies, I couldn't even get one, they're just too expensive. And it doesn't make any sense, unless another crypto miner is purchasing them, which they probably won't be, because there's a reason they're selling them off now. They're just not good enough for their power usage or something like that. Uh, unless another crypto miner buys it, it's going to be used for gaming. And to buy this for gaming, it's just not worth that price. Um, it, it just isn't. You know, for the price they want for this 480, you could get a uh, GTX 1070, maybe a GTX 1070 Ti, you know, and that'll just blow the water, uh, blow this card out of the water. So anyway, let me get this connected to the internet, let me get Steam installed, and we'll throw a couple games on this to see how it runs. Now that that cable is out of the fan, uh... I'm actually reasonably happy with how quiet this turned out to be. So, I'm also going to look again for that other side panel. I'll be back. Well, I finally found the side panel. It's hiding behind my desk. Should have looked there to begin with, but I'm not a very intelligent man, so... Speaking of a lack of intelligence, I should be doing it this way. Nothing fancy here, just stuffing all the cables in. You know, the right way to do that. Well, wow. there we go. Just gonna use a single screw for now. I see. <laughs> Get in there. Get 
it fights. But I win. With brute force. Anything can be achieved. But the side panel is not the only thing that I found. Oh, this thing's kind of heavy. Found this. In the trash. Uh, it doesn't really have a stand. It's got this. Kind of a wall mount doohickey, but if I stick it out like that, now it's a stand. So let's get this set up and see if it works. I would... That's a... That's a spider. Huh. Well, let's give this a shot. I would very much like that to work. I forget to plug in the PC. I did. Take two. Got some games here to try. If this. Hey. I see some weird striping on the screen. That's unusual. There's also some chips. Let's get in close. And see some deep gouges in the screen there and these this weird kind of diagonal stripes. Let me open up something like um, notepad. Maybe you can see those, maybe you can't. All across the screen. But that's okay. The point is, the screen works, and it was free. Even came with a free spider. Anyway, let's let's fire up some games, and maybe for this Halloween special, try our hand at a montage. I'm sure this will go great.
Well, honestly, apart from uh, the trouble with Monster Hunter World having a little bit of hitching, I am extremely happy with this PC. It uh, turned out better than it had any right to do. So, this was a, a heck of an undertaking. Uh, so, as cringy as it is, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to see more stuff like this, usually dumpster dived, don't forget to subscribe. And sincerely, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see behind the scenes or more exclusive content, including the making of stuff like this, feel free to check out my Patreon. You do not have to pay for that. Most of the stuff that I post is for free members as well as paid ones. But if you do feel like helping out, I certainly wouldn't mind being able to afford, well, more $1 pumpkins. <laughs> so, thank you very much to my patron members, and to the rest of you as well. Thank you for helping us get to a thousand.